Okay, families, I'm going to show you our partial quotient or decomposing strategy for division. So let's say you had 344 divided by 5. <clears throat> Some people call this the magic 7. We're trying to not use those words and trying to call it the decomposing strategy or the partial quotient method. The first step is to tell, ask yourself five times what and get me to exactly 344 or at least close to it. The idea is that the kids use what they know, which is not how we were taught. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, I know five times 20 is 100. And I know five times 40 is 200. And I know 5 times 60 is 300. Well, that's pretty close. So let's go with that. So what we're explaining to the kids is that, like, if this were a word problem, you might say that there are 344 llamas, and you're putting those llamas into five pins. And so if we're going to use 5 times 60 equals 300, what we're doing is we're putting 60 llamas in each one of those pins. And so that 60 hangs out right here on the side. That means that we have put away 300 llamas and there's only 44 llamas left to put away. So then we do the whole step process all over again. We say 5 times what will get me to exactly 44 or close to it. Use what you know. So I'm going to say 5 times, how about 8? 5 times 8 is 40. So that means that I just put 8 more llamas in all of these pins. And that got rid of 40 llamas. Don't forget, put your 8 over here on the side. When you subtract, we have 4 left over. So your answer is we have 68 llamas in every pen with a remainder of four. The tricky part with this is that you have to decide what to do with the remainder. If we're putting the llamas in the pen, that means we have 68 llamas in every pen and we've got four llamas that are running around. So in this case, what we need to do, because we don't want four llamas running around, is bump it up to 60. Nine, and we would try to put 69 in every stall. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.